Hello and welcome back to the Concept Checkup. The point of Concept Checkup is to dive into the Warframe forums, look for a community-made Warframe concept, and talk about it. For the purpose of Concept Checkup, I will use my custom-built evaluating method known as, ASS. Without further ado, let's begin the checkup. For today's checkup we have Pollux, the Sword Summoner Warframe. Pollux was created by King Firejet on the Warframe forums, who also created the previously covered Andromeda concept. Pollux is designed to be a melee support frame, with the ability to directly help the melee capabilities of himself and his allies. Unfortunately, since Pollux currently does not have any given stats or a passive, we will jump straight into the checkup. Pollux's first ability is Infuse. Upon activation, Pollux's melee weapon will deal high impact damage as well as having a percent chance to create a blast tail with every swing, for a few seconds. While the additional impact damage can surely be useful against corpus enemies, it's the percent chance to make a blast tail that really takes the cake here. This means that if Infuse is applied onto a high attack speed melee weapon, such as the Dual Commas Prime, you'll be making the most out of the buff. This doesn't even include other possible sources of attack speed buffs like Valkyrie's Warcry or the Berserker mod, which would basically turn any high attack speed melee weapon into a ragdoll machine. Pollux's second ability is Royal Orbit. Once activated, Pollux creates a ring with five arrows over his head. Each arrow targets a different nearby enemy, applying impact damage and having a percent chance to blind. There is also an augment which allows the ring to be placed onto another player, similar to Nizha's safeguard augment. While Royal Orbit is designed to provide some breathing room against small amounts of enemies, it really falls short when put against large amounts of mobs. To fix this, I would recommend that Royal Orbit is changed to a toggled ability that drains energy over time, and instead of being limited to 5 arrows, Pollux's ring generates an infinite number of arrows, but only 5 can be shot out at once at any given time. Pollux's third ability is Charisma. Charisma makes Pollux generate an aura from himself, decreasing the amount of energy spent for melee channeling, and confusing all enemies in the aura for a limited amount of time. While Charisma is certainly a bit outdated, particularly because it references stamina, the confusion ore holds it up quite nicely. However, the decreased melee channeling cost doesn't feel like it does much, as not every player even uses melee channeling. A flat amount of increased melee damage might fit the bill here, or a percent increase to crit and status chance. Regardless, Charisma is essentially a mobile version of Nyx's Chaos, but with a nice buff to boot. Pollux's fourth and signature ability is Astra Scabbard. Upon activation, Pollux summons a great sword, which can be picked up by himself or an ally. Once picked up, the great sword will replace the previously equipped melee weapon for a specific amount of time. In addition, the great sword comes with high impact damage and innate blast damage, as well as its own stance. Lastly, the great sword will absorb a percent of damage if it's used while blocking and that damage can be reflected back as a damaging slash wave by the player. While Astra Scabbard is not the first Warframe exclusive weapon with its own stats, it is the first Warframe exclusive weapon that can be picked up and used by other players. Let's also not forget that Astra Scabbard contains the power to both absorb some damage by blocking and reflect it back in a wave, which sounds pretty kick-ass if you ask me. However, Pollux is not without his faults. For one, his abilities are mostly composed of impact damage, which will only be effective against corpus enemies, and his lack of self-sustain can make him a pretty squishy warframe, especially since his stats aren't set in stone. Secondly, Pollux has rather high energy costs to his abilities, with only one of his powers costing less than 75 energy to use. Lastly, since Pollux is of course a support frame, soloing anything with him can be rather difficult. Keep in mind that playing him alone in high levels would be a nightmare, given that his abilities affect melee weapons, not ranged, meaning that it forces Pollux to move closer to mobs that can potentially one-shot him, and given how he has no help by playing solo, it could be stressful. Anyways, here are Pollux's scores. 
while a supportive warframe that spawns a pickup weapon and provides melee boosting abilities can be fun. It's important to note that his stats and certain portions of his kit require some changes and clarification. For my personal thoughts, I think Pollux has the potential to be a different support frame, if the stamina parts of his kit are removed or changed, and if his passive and stats are finalized. In addition, his Royal Orbit and Charisma could use changes, so really Pollux has a ways to go before becoming a 100% solid idea. So that's Pollux's checkup. Tune in next time where I will perform a concept checkup on Omen. Thank you for watching.